Hi guys, it's Emily here from Yellow Tuxedo. As Alan has pretty much dominated the how-to section of this YouTube channel for the last few weeks, I thought it was definitely my turn to have a go. Um, this week, we're gonna be talking all about the Google My Business app, and if you haven't got it inst installed yet on your phone, now is the time to do so. As always, if you'd like to give us a little thumbs up, if you like what you see, that's always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel with a little bell below to make sure that you are subscribing to our weekly how-tos all about online presence and digital visibility. Okay, so the Google My Business app, if you haven't yet got it installed on your phone, go and do it right now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the phone in a second, but you need to go and get it on your phone now to start using it properly. We've talked about Google My Business in the past. We've done a video on it as well on how you can be um, optimizing your Google My Business profile to get the full potential out of your profile. Go and visit it later on if you haven't yet done so. And the app just makes life so much simpler for you because you can be doing it on the fly. You don't have to be logging into your desktop version to be updating all your images and all your offers and stuff. The app is so clever. And actually, if you are using your phone for Facebook and you're using your phone for Instagram, why would you not use the Google My Business um, app on your phone just like any other social media platform. It's so important because you can be updating your, your content all the time. You can add posts, you can use Office, or everything I'm gonna show you in a second but it's actually doing something for you. It's helping drive you up the Google rankings. It's showing you that you're interacting with your audience and Google is trying to work out where you should sit in the search. So by doing this, you are really improving your chances in terms of SEO. So what I'm gonna do now, I am gonna head straight onto my phone to give you a, a real time um, example of how we can be using the Google My Business app and some of the fun features on it that you can be using today to start improving your chances of being seen by Google. So, okay, so we're gonna head over to the app right now. We'll give a little play to show you all the fun things that you could be doing to really help elevate your business. It's really clever. Okay, so we come over to the phone. You can see that the Google My Business app is this little blue uh, shop front here with a little G in it, we go into it. And the good thing is we have every part of the functionality that you would have on the desktop here on your phone. You get your stats here, you can see how many people have been viewing, you have your images, you have your offers and events. Now the first thing I want to show you is the fact that how quickly you can be putting in an event or an offer for your business. So if you have a promotion, we can go into new offer, you can add a photo. So I'm just gonna, for demonstration purposes, put this. You can have a play and you can go next. So our, our latest um, events we've got on, we have the digital circus, which we we're telling you more about really, really, really soon. So it could be join the digital, oh, if I could spell, <laughs> digital circus. You can set your start time, you can set your end time, you can put the offer, anything like that. You can add voucher codes and you can add the website where they can carry on um, going to, to, to buy from your, from your service and then hit publish. It's that simple. You can create an event or an offer so, so quickly. Obviously we have your reviews here as well. So you can be managing your reviews, you can be interacting with the reviews, you can be um, making sure that everyone who is responding to you, if they're positive or negative, you can leave a comment back to. Why this is really important is to make sure that obviously Google wants to see that you're being interactive. So if you have got negative reviews, that's never the, not the worst thing, always, but if you can show that you can have a considered and honest response back to that person to make sure that you are interacting with them, that will actually serve you better than not um, commenting at all. So do make sure that you are commenting on your reviews. The next thing we can look at over here is where your reviews are sitting. So we have um, your reviews tab and where you can um, look at who's been writing what. We have the direct messages tab here as well. So people can be asking you questions on Google My Business and you can respond straight from the phone, just like you would do direct messages on Facebook and Instagram. And also we haven't got any followers yet. However, if you'd like to start following us, do feel free. Um, we can look at who's following our page as well. Okay, then the next thing we want to look at is your profile. And this is the thing we need to make sure we're updating on a regular basis as well, because businesses change, things change. Obviously with the current situation, especially with lockdown right now, our business hours might change, um, our offering, our core offering might develop and change as well. So being able to um, adapt it in the app is really quick, rather than having to go into the desktop version. So we can make sure that we're adding our times, we can add our, our contact details. We can also look at our, um, our blurb about what we are and who, what we're doing and, and making sure that this is keyword optimized. So have an, you have an opportunity here to make sure that you're putting a keyword into your description because that is searchable. We then have our posts. So if you have something juicy, maybe you've written a new blog post or you have a new video or you have a new product that you want to be promoting, you can create a post to do so, okay? It's really, really clever. You can hit this little icon at the bottom 
you can add a photo. And then you can add your um, you can add your video, your photo, and then you can add your description in this box. So you can just literally write anything there. And then you can add a call to action button. So you can be directing them to your blog post on your website. You can be adding them to, um, a, you know, if you have a mailing list, you want to join up, you have a landing page. You can direct them to wherever you want, which is a really um, clever way of making sure people are interacting and seeing your stuff as well. I'm going to um, click out of that one for now. We also have your photographs. So. I would treat Google My Business just like, we, again, with any gallery you have on your Facebook or your Instagram, making sure that you are keeping up to date and current with your imagery. So if you are working in new products or you have been working with clients or you have had a new branding shoot, keeping your photos as current and up to date as possible is really, really clever. You also have an opportunity here, and I've said this in our previous videos, you have 30 seconds of snippet video you can be adding and uploading at one time as well. And again, we can make sure that these, these um, videos and photos are, um, you're tagging them right, making sure that your keywords are in the alt descriptions and the annual um, file names that will really help you again in terms of Google search and SEO and obviously we don't have our products listed at the moment this is something we will look to do later on but you can also start listing your products there so people can actually see what exactly what it is you're selling and what prices and things like that so you can really start to play with the products tab also if you press the more button you can see just like any other um, app on, on the market for any of your other platforms, we can be managing our users, we can be looking at your notifications and we can link your website. So do be sure to make sure that if you are adding your team there, you can do so by clicking manage users. You can hit the plus button and you can add extra users who want to be interacting with you. So if you have a wider team who want to all start getting involved with this, it's definitely a really useful way of making sure that your team are all on board and helping to update your Google My Business. Really, I just want to say that Google My Business is such a clever way of making sure that we are standing out and being current. You put so much effort into your micro content and your, your, your daily posts on your other social media platforms. Why don't we do the same with Google My Business? It's exactly the same way and it's paying, you, it's, it's, it's paying off for you in the long run because you are actually going to be able to optimize that content and it's going to do something for you. So if you're heading over to your social media platforms and you're playing around every day, make sure you spend just as much time on your Google My Business. If you've got something to say put it up on google too because they want to hear from you and your clients they may not always be on facebook they may not always be on youtube but they are always on google searching for things and if you're showing up on google on the map and everywhere else it's just going to serve you better so make sure you have a play if you haven't downloaded the app yet go and do so have a play it's honestly the simplest app you can be working on it's really not difficult but it's a really really valuable tool that not enough people are using at the moment Thank you so much for listening today. I hope you found it a little bit useful. If you want to chat to me about Google My Business, I'm always happy. My, my ears are always open. I'm happy to listen. Um, I love Google. I'm a little bit of a Google geek. Um, but yes, and also do be sure we have we're just about to launch our brand new digital circus, which is all about helping you guys to understand your own digital skills and making sure that you can up level your own online visibility. Um, it's coming really, really soon. If you'd like to register your details, you can do so. We're going to www.yellowtoxido.co.uk forward slash coming soon and you can find out all about it right there. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I can't wait to see you next week. Either myself or Adam will be here next time to show you another how-to all about your own digital visibility. See you later. Bye.